Welcome to Channel to Chaos. Today I'll learn something called the switch case. Now in order to understand what's a switch case, just imagine an ordinary toggle switch. The switch that you use to turn on and off your lights. In that switch, you have got two options, right? Either you turn on the lights or you turn off the lights. Now you cannot have both of these options at the same time. You cannot have the on and the off both at the same time. So basically a switch case in programming is basically the same. The only difference between that toggle switch and this switch case is that you can have multiple options over here. It's not just on and off. You can have as many options as you want. So basically I'm going to show you a program of a calculator where you can perform various operations on two numbers. So I'm going to say that user enter to number, right? And I will have the option to the user to either add, multiply, subtract or divide with those numbers. So he will have a certain amount of options that he can do with those numbers. So getting started, I'm going to declare two numbers, okay, where I will accept it with the user and the variable result where I will store the result. And I'm going to take one more variable called option. Now I'll explain why I have taken this in a minute. So let's get started with the program we enter printf enter two numbers alright so I'm going to say to the user to enter two numbers I type in the scanf statement in order to get the user's input let's say percent %i percent %i alright comma ampersand of num1 comma ampersand of num2 so I've got both of these numbers scanned and stored alright now I'll type in the user to enter the option. Now again I'll explain this option variable and this statement in a minute. Enter the option. Scanf percent %i comma ampersand of option. Alright, I'll explain this in a minute so don't worry. Now coming to the main feature which is a switch case. So switch this is the keyword that you need to use switch now inside these parentheses you specify the option again I'll explain this in a minute it's nothing difficult so keeping that aside for a minute let's leave this over there now as I told you you can have as many options as you want inside a switch case you can have either on off or whatever but you can have as many as you want so in this case we want to perform the addition of two numbers in the first option okay so in order to perform that operation I need to specify which option is that so you specify options using something called a case so case is basically your options again you can have as many options as you want that means you can have as many cases as you want so all you, the thing that you need to do is enumerate your cases it has to start with 1, alright, or 0, it can start with 0 as well. But the thing is, you need to give them a number. So whenever the user enters an option, it, would, it will choose the corresponding number. If I enter 1, I want to choose the case 1, then it would choose this. Alright, so enumerate your cases. It cannot go without a number. So in the first case, in the first option, if you may, I'm going to perform the addition of two numbers. So I'll, all I do is result is equal to num1 plus num2. So number addition of two numbers will be stored into the variable result. Now I just display the result over here. So I'm just going to type in sum is equal to, all right, comma, the variable result. Obviously, I'm printing the variable result because is it is the one that contains the addition. All right. Now, here we now to come to a something called a break statement. Now, as I told you, you can in a switch you used to have multiple options. Now, this break statement, all it does is, it does not one case cannot enter into the another case. For example, if I enter a break statement over here, all right, and I write another case, case two. And in the case 2, what I'm doing is performing, let's say, this subtraction. Alright? Subtraction rather than addition. So I delete that, put the minus sign, and I change this to subtraction. 
Now, if I don't put the break statement in, what it's going to do, whenever you choose this option, and if you don't put the break statement, it would go directly into the second option. So, it wouldn't stop. Normally, what I want to do, if I want to perform an addition and that's it, I don't want to perform a subtraction as well. So, addition and addition only, and I want to stop there. So, I use the break statement. And if I don't want to stop them, I just remove them. Okay, I don't type in a break statement. But in this case, what I want to do is, whenever I choose this one, I just want to perform the addition. I don't want to go into the subtraction. So do keep in mind, if you don't put the break statement, it would just go jumping from one case to another case. Okay, this is quite useful. And do keep that in mind that this break statement is used in all all of the program. It means it's it's not just used in switch. It can be used anywhere in a program. All right. So do not think that it's only going to be used in a switch case. The only thing I forgot over here is just to put the percent %i. Again, you cannot print a variable without putting the percent %i. So sorry for that. It's a minor mistake. So now if I run the program, you will see it says enter two numbers. I'll enter like 5 and 6. Now it asks us to enter the option. Now I haven't explained what is an option yet, so don't worry. But if I choose 1, it would choose the case 1, alright? I press 1, sum is equals to 5 plus 6, which is 11. So, basically, I typed in 1, and it chose this case. If I type 2, it will choose this case. So, basically, that is what is an option is. Whatever number that you're going to type in over here, that number would be replaced and put it over here, okay? So, it's just going to take that number, put it over here, and choose the corresponding case. It's really that simple. If I type in 2 whenever I run the program, if I run it right now, let's say I enter 2 plus, well, 2 and 3, alright, and I'll perform a subtraction. So I type in the option 2. It will choose and enter minus 1. So it choose, chose, sorry, the case 2, which is used to subtract number 1 minus number 2. So basically, what I've done over here, I chose the case 2 and it performed all these statements. And again, if I don't use the break statement, it would jump from case to case. So do keep that in mind. So basically, now I've, now that I've got two cases, for one for addition and one for subtraction, I'm going to put in two more, all right, already written the code, for one for multiplying using the asterisk operator and one for dividing. Only thing that I have changed is, is the operator, all right, and the case number. That's all that I have changed over here. So I've maintained the order of the case numbers change the operator so each each case performs a different operation and yeah write the printf statement that I've changed one for the multiplication one for the division so now if I run the program and I enter two number let's say 9 and 6 and let's say I want to multiply and then in that case it is the number 3 option number 3 I choose that and it will perform the multiplication and give us the result right up over there so that is basically the switch case so anyway, this has been a channel of the chaos. I hope you like this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much.